every sinner's concern to be delivered from the cheap misery of life my own sinfulness let's read a bulk of passages for an analysis let's study together ready now Because of your hard and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath, when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. He will render to each one according to his works. To those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. But for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. There will be tribulation and distress for every human being who does evil, the Jew first and also the Greek, but glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good, the Jew first and also the Greek, for God shows no partiality. Punishment in the Judgment Day Note: While the wrath of God is a biblical fact, he set aside a certain day where this divine wrath would be poured out lavishly. Take note of this. There is God's judgment day. And because of people's continued hard-heartedness and unrepentance, they intensify the punishment due them. The demise of those who shall receive the punishment. This tribulation and distress is otherwise described as the lake of burning fire and sulfur. How can I flee from the punishment which is just for me to receive? As a sinner, I experience the effect of sin in my life, all the more, God's verdict. Do I have enough remedy for my sin? The Wrath of God Against Sin A prophet, when talking with God, discloses that God cannot tolerate wrongdoings. We were once by nature, children of wrath. As described in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 3. He that believes on the Son has everlasting life, but anyone who rejects him shall incur God's wrath, as John 3 verse 36 tells us. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, you that work iniquity. It is a separation from the Lord, as he foretold it long before, so the key is, is to have a personal relationship with him, this is the sense of the verb to know. The Lord Jesus, even rehearsed what he would say in the judgment day. He'd say, Depart from me, you cursed into the everlasting fire. If anyone worships the beast and his image, and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wind of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 But for the cowardly and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and immoral persons and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is, the second death.
Do you have any question?